أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا رب العالمين يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك ولعظيم سلطانك سبحانك اللهم لا نحثي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك Alhamdulillah, it is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be here in this night, in this place, in this city, in this masjid amongst blessed people, blessed company. Um, I just came from the East Coast and I came here to listen to the likes of, you know, Sidi Ammu Tarif and Sidi Mahdi, uh, Sidi Zuhair and all of you. But Alhamdulillah, um, this is an opportunity that if I make any mistakes that my teachers here are here to correct me, inshallah. But Alhamdulillah, we're in the last 10 nights, inshallah. And these are very special nights. All nights are special nights. As I say, for the believer, you know, every night is Laylatul Qadr and every day is the day of Arafah. But, you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even though all of his nights, you know, in reality were Laylatul Qadr, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam looked out for Laylatul Qadr in these last 10 nights. And they say specifically the odd nights, and then Allahu Alam, the 25th, the 27th, the 29th are also mentioned. And so, uh, if that's the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then what about us? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he's ma'asum. Right? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is protected, he does not you know, commit sin. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would seek istighfar from his Lord throughout the day at least 70 times, at least 100 times, right? Uh, but for us, you know, we need more than that. Uh, and that's why we couple our istighfar with La ilaha illallah and with salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, and it's because, you know, we hope that it's through mentioning his name, alayhi salatu wa sallam, that our deeds and our devotions will be accepted. Mm -hmm. And one act that... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself and the angels partake in, in every single moment, be it Ramadan or outside of Ramadan, this is a continuous act. Right? Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. And so, for us, right, um, you know, it's all about remembering the beloved. Right, uh, be it in relationships, be it with family members, be it with good friends. Right, the closer you are to a person, the more you remember them, and the more you remember them, you know, the more you come to know them through sitting in their company, through speaking about them, through visiting them, through seeing them. You actually become more and more like that person. And so, what we want to do is we want to mention and we want to remember the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So much so to the point that we, inshallah, become Muhammadan. So much so to the point, right, that we're taking on the prophetic qualities and even the external qualities as well, right? And so when we walk, right, we walk uh, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam walked, but his walk was with purpose, right? And so even our the physical manifestations of, you know, uh, the the acts that we take on and following his sunnah alayhi salatu wasalam also have a metaphysical reality to them as well, right? And such that everything we do then becomes connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because in reality, everything the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did was divine inspiration. And so that's what Ramadan is all about. Um, it's about uh, achieving and attaining a con consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because taqwa, by definition, means to stay away from those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has pro prohibited us to do and to do those things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do. And so the more we do that, right, the more we follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the more that we strive to grow in every single day because our days, two of our days, shouldn't be the same. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instructed us that in every day, right, um, two, two days of the believers are not the same and that you know, he or she is trying to strive more and more. Uh, but when we do that, we begin to develop right, a, a, a true and deep longing and love for the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
in a, in a, in a true uh, love and longing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهَ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ Let's say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, right, to tell us, to instruct, uh, instruct us, إِن كُنْتُمْ It's a conditional sentence. If you claim, right, to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then follow me, right? And if you truly come to follow me, only then will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you in return. And then as a bonus, right, he will forgive you as well out of his love, right, for the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to take advantage of these last uh, 10 days that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to become closer and closer to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and allow us to achieve uh, taqwa wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah.